In this video, I want to just quickly step you through the logistics of how to work on homeworks in this class and uh, how to use the submission system, which will let you verify right away that you got the right answer for your uh, machine learning programming exercise. Here's my Octave window, and uh, let's first go to my desktop. I saved the files for my um, first exercise, uh, some of the files on my desktop in this directory, class ex one and um, we provide a number of files uh, and ask you to edit some of them. So the first file, you should read the uh, detailed uh, PDF file for this programming exercise to get the details. But one of the files we ask you to edit is this file called Warm Up Exercise, where you know, the exercise is really just to make sure that you're familiar with the submission system. And all you need to do is uh, return the 5x5 five five identity matrix. So, you know, the solution to this exercise I'll just show you is to write a equals i5, right? So that modifies this function to generate the 5x5 five five identity matrix, and this function warm-up exercise now returns, you know, the 5x5 five five identity matrix, and uh, I'm just going to save it. So I've done the first part of this homework. Going back to my octave window, let's now um, go to my directory, user slash ang slash desktop slash ml class dash ex1. And um, if I want to make sure that I've you know, implemented this in type warm up exercise, like so, and uh, yep, it returns, that's the 5x5 five five entity matrix that we just wrote the code to create. And I can now submit the code as follows. I'm going to type submit from this directory, and um, I'm ready to submit part one. So I'm going to enter you know, choice one. So it asks me for my email address. So I'm going to go to the course website and uh, you know this list my uh, this is an internal testing site. So your your version of the website may look a little bit different, but uh, that's my email address and this is my submission password. And I'm just going to type them in here. So I have ang at cs.stanford.edu, and my submission password is uh, 9yc75 ussgf. And if I hit enter, it connects to the server and submits it. And right away, it tells you, you know, this says, congratulations, you've successfully completed homework in part one. Um, and this gives you a verification that you, you, you got this part right. Uh, and if you don't submit the right answer, then, you know, it'll give you a message indicating that you haven't quite gotten it right yet. And by the way, um, you can also call, uh, you can use this submission password uh, and you can generate new passwords, doesn't matter. But um, you can also use your regular website login password. But because you know this password here is typed in in uh, uh, clear text, you know on your monitor, um, we gave you this extra submission password in case you don't want to type in your website's normal password onto a window. That uh, depending on your operating system, um, this password may or may not appear as text when you type it into the um, uh, Octave su Octave submission script. So. That's how you submit the homeworks after you've done it. Uh, good luck, and I hope you get, um, when you get around to the homeworks, I hope you get all of them right. And finally, in the next and final Octave tutorial video, um, I want to tell you about vectorization, which is a way to get your Octave code to run much more efficiently.